So we've just TB tested Tamani. Huge thanks to Dr. Rogers and Janelle from ProVet Wildlife Services. And of course from our sponsors, Janice Lester, all of her friends and close encounters for raising the funds for not only TB testing the rhino, but also for the eventual dehorning. The little female that we just uh, got it and bled now. She comes from an area behind what we call the red line, the R40, regarded as an area which is endemic with TB. You've got TB in the buffalo there. It's part of the greater Kruger. So you've got TB in the buffalo, you've got TB in the lions. So if we ever want to move her out, we just got to check that she doesn't have TB. The chances are very, very unlikely, very, very small, but the nevertheless, the chances are there. So today was her first um, TB test. Um, and it's got followed up by another two at six six week intervals. Um, so it's just to make sure the chances are, are minute. But we just want to make sure, and also for them to be able to come out of quarantine because they're in a quarantine area at this stage. To try and get them into a bigger area, uh, we just got to make sure that she doesn't have TB first. So, as I say, the chances are very, very small that she's got it. But it's, it's protocol that's got to be done. Um, so the next one will be done in six weeks time and the one thereafter and then hopefully we'll be able to let her out, out of quarantine into a much bigger area. And then during one of those times as well we're going to dehorn her and him. Uh, again because it's a security risk having them in this area. Everybody knows, the poachers know that they're here. Of course the bigger the horns get, the bigger the risk, the bigger the chances of something happening. No matter how good your security is, you just want to eliminate the risk or minimize the risk. So yeah, all in very well today and uh, yeah, hopefully we'll come back negative.